Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today we're doing a little family update. Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video when there is a big surprise I'm going to talk about. So first let's talk about where those of us who are on gaps are at and how that's going. So first is this little guy over here who turned four recently. We have made some really great milestones on gaps since our last update. So last I talked about, he had been kind of hanging out on stage four intro stage four for a while and we were focusing on spleen support and after a good nine months on stage four he has been able to go to full gaps which was great to see that progress and then we recently started working with dr becky plotner to go ahead and address heavy metals and um, what exactly we're doing is beyond the scope of a YouTube video. It's so personalized and everything. But if you are somebody who is thinking that they need heavy metal support with chelating heavy metals, there are definitely lots of wrong ways to chelate heavy metals. And there's a couple of really good ways to do it. So... I highly recommend getting in contact with Dr. Becky Plotner if that's something that you know you need support with. If you're new to the GAPS diet though, I encourage you to give that a good, at least a year. Especially focusing on those healing foods and just rebuilding the gut because that'll oftentimes will get the body in a healthy enough place to where the detox system can start handling those heavy metals on its own. But for some people, like this little guy, he just, he's been on GAPS pretty much his whole life and he hasn't been able to come off. So we knew after talking to Dr. Becky Plotner that doing some heavy metal chelation would be a really good next step for him. So it's been going amazing. He's been doing great. There were some little minor yeast flare up symptoms at first. And then within a few days, those calmed right back down. He has been able to do things that he's never been able to do, like eat fruit, two apples a day, and be fine. That has never, he's never been able to do that before. So it's really exciting to see that progress already. I don't know how long he'll need to do the metals chelation, but we'll just keep going with that. And hopefully at some point he'll be able to transition off of gaps once those metals are addressed. And then for the other person in our family who is on gaps, that would be my husband. And he is also doing the heavy metal chelation with Dr. Becky Plotner. He had done the Andy Cutler chelation in the past, and I do plan to talk a little bit more about that. But he's doing a different one now. Again, it's beyond the scope to talk exactly what we're doing at this point. But, like I said, if that's something that you're interested in, I will put Dr. Becky's information below and encourage you to reach out to her for a consultation and she can recommend something that would work well for your situation. And then, of course, you know, do a good year at least on GAPS first to get your body ready. So my husband is doing that and it's pretty early. We haven't really seen anything... Um, major as far as improvements yet but one thing that we have noticed is that he took a little bit more of the chelator than he should have one day and there were definitely some yeast signs so it's it's a good thing because it tells us yes there are still obviously metals hanging around if that happens so we're excited to see how that goes over time to see the improvements there everybody else is on the full weston a price way of eating this little guy is still pretty much gaps just because that's best for those who are under two and doing great that is pretty much where we are at so if you have questions about anything leave me a comment down below and i'll 
answer those. I'd also love to know where you're at in gaps, um, where you're at in either intro or full gaps, and just kind of what milestones have you reached, what improvements have you seen lately. I love hearing other people's stories and where they're at. Okay, is there anything else that we wanted to share about how people are doing? No. For this one here, she is doing the same chelation too, just because it can't hurt. It's a really safe protocol and so far doing great. No, nothing really to report, but we're hoping that that's just a good thing to do over time to make sure that there aren't metals because if her brother has them, she was probably exposed to them somehow at one point or another too, so it just makes sense to go ahead and address those now. So yeah, that's where we're at, and I hope that you enjoyed this little update. If you have questions, be sure and leave me a comment. So if you like this video, found it interesting, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like it, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.